Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Nice story there on yeah, Friday. Nice story. Uh, looking ahead, and I know you look ahead with the forecast and yeah, everything. Yeah, you want longer than that. Uh, I'm talking two years now. <laughs> looking ahead two years from now, we're, we're going to have a big day around here. Oh, it's going to be huge. Now, we're hoping for good weather. I can't forecast two years in the future. But yes, you've probably heard about this, the total solar eclipse. So you can have partials, you can be close. We're not close. We are literally right under the, the path of totality as we get uh, through the afternoon hours two years from now on April 8th. Basically, that means it turns very dark, not totally dark, but pretty dark during the afternoon. And all of the cities that you see here, I mean, it's so much of our area in this cone. That's where the totality is. It lasts for between three and four minutes right on the yellow line. So right over Plattsburgh, right over the lake. And it'll be a sight to see if you've never seen one. Very cool. We'll talk more about that when we get a little closer. For now, we've got some showers moving through. Most of them are done, though. A couple lingering in the Northeast Kingdom. And the wider shot shows this is just a brief intermission with the rain because all of this shower activity comes back in tomorrow and the clouds. But it is a beautiful evening for a lot of us, not all of us, but look at this view over Church Street. You can see a couple puffy clouds there, probably the shower that just moved through Rutland. And then breaks of blue and dry, at least on Church Street right now. 52, not much wind, feels pretty good. Other spots in the 50s as well, central Vermont, down through the upper valley into Brattleboro, also 52 in Messina. So the headlines show a lot of showers during the morning and early afternoon tomorrow. Even some mountain snow, but I think Sunday turns out drier. Not 100% dry, but certainly the drier of the two days. Here's Futurecast with the quiet night this night, and then for tomorrow, the rain starts coming back in the morning. It could be steady for a little part of tomorrow, and then you see the blue there in the Adirondacks, but also some of the spots above 1,500 feet in northern Vermont could be snowflakes instead of raindrops. Now, it's hard to get it to stick midday, but probably some accumulation way high up on the summits through tomorrow. And then it starts to dry out for tomorrow evening, just like we're seeing right now. And Sunday, the clouds in a shower or two are back, but it is a lot quieter on Sunday. Monday, of course, right after the weekend, turns out beautiful with lots of sunshine. I did want to show you the snow map just to illustrate how isolated the snow accumulation will be tomorrow. Basically, the higher peaks of northern New York, Vermont, even down into southern Vermont, maybe a little accumulation there by Mount Snow in the higher parts of Bennington County. So tonight is quiet. There's a shower or two, but it's mostly dry overnight, 30s. And then the rain comes back tomorrow, 46. That's it in Jericho, 45 for Burlington. So cool with how thick the clouds are tomorrow, at least during the mid part of the day. 52 the high in Brattleboro, maybe a little sun around sunset tomorrow. I think there's a better chance for a break or two of sun on Sunday. Monday is the nice day. And then there's more showers for Tuesday. We still have that warm up next week. It's not quite as impressive because of the showers. So 60s on Thursday and Friday. Right now, Easter weekend looks good, but it's a long ways out. So we'll watch it. Brian, Liz. All right, Tyler, thanks.